It's a joy to come and share with you these devotional moments. I want to look again at that story found in Luke chapter 19 concerning Zacchaeus. He was a tax collector and he heard that Jesus was passing his way and he very much wanted to see the Lord. So the Bible says he ran before the crowd, climbed up a tall tree and got out on a limb. As Jesus is passing by, Jesus comes to that place, looks up into that tree and says to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today I must abide at your house. Zacchaeus, this hated and despised man in his own community. Jesus says to him, come down for I must abide at your house. How does God see you. It's one thing that the way other people saw him. It's another matter of how he saw himself. But what really matters is how the Lord saw him. That's the only thing that counts. Nothing else really matters in comparison with this. Let others think of you the way they want. Remember that they say things oftentimes that are not true. But what does the Lord really see in us and what does He say about us? We have to remember when it comes to the Lord that He sees all we do, He hears all we say, and He knows all we think. When Jesus looked up and saw Zacchaeus, He saw him as he really was. But He even saw more than that. He saw him in the possibility of becoming the man God wanted him to be. And that's the good news. That the Lord not only sees us for who and what we really are, He also sees us for what we can become by way of His grace and His love. The crowd had looked at Zacchaeus, but the problem was they had never really seen him. And what I love about the Lord Jesus is that He has eyes to see, eyes to see the last, the least, the lost, and the left out. Jesus found him and called him by name. Jesus knew his name, just like he knows your name and my name. He knew all about Zacchaeus and loved him in spite of his sins. He knows everything about us, and He loves us as well. What does Jesus say to Zacchaeus? Make haste and come down, for today I must abide at your house. And the key word is the word must. In the Greek, that word means necessity. Nobody is ever converted without this divine must. You remember what Jesus said to Nicodemus? You must be born again. Zacchaeus opened his heart to Jesus and Jesus changed him from the inside out. Here was a man who went up a tree in the dark, but he came down in the light. He went up that tree in disgrace, but he came down with dignity. He went up that tree bruised, but he came down blessed. He went up that tree hurting, but he came down healed. He went up that tree wrong, but he came down right because he responded to the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ. Zacchaeus climbed a tree to see Jesus, and the Lord saw him and called him down. This whole story is a story about grace. It's about God's taking society's rejects and making them recruits for the kingdom. He finds us, He forgives us, and He frees us. And He's ready, willing, and able to do that in your life right now. Right where you are, He's so near. He will find you, forgive you, and free you. Let's pray.
Lord, we thank you for being a Christ who has eyes to see. You see us not only the way we are, but you see the possibilities of what we can become by way of your grace. Thank you for all that you've done for us through your son, Jesus Christ. Bless our homes, our families, our communities, and our church. For we pray and ask it all in the wonderful name of your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Don't forget our prayer calls, Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and then again Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. Then on Sunday morning at 8.45, our Sunday school review, followed by 9 a.m. worship. You be blessed and have a great day in the Lord.